And then let's let's just circle back on this idea of contributions to the open source community. Um, I mean, what does that what does that entail? It's yeah, it's um, communities do it in different ways, but generally you're um, you find a fix or a bug or a feature that you want to give back to the community. So basically you, you package up the code and either submit it as a patch to an existing project or to a core framework like Drupal or WordPress. Um, and then someone from the community tests that fix or patch or module and then commits it to the code base, the, the larger code base, um, however it's stored. And then that becomes available for other people to use, right? So it's basically code, throw it up on the web, get it tested, get it approved, and then it becomes available for other people. That makes sense. So like with Drupal, there's thousands of developers out there improving it and adding to the platform on a daily basis, basically. Yep, and not only the platform, but there's conferences, you know, that support and um, distribute knowledge about the platform. So contribution isn't always code in open source. Sometimes it's organizing an event. Um, and that's true for many other, I used to work in Perl, you know, we organized Perl conferences. So, um, and then there's documentation, there's quality assurance of these, of these patches or whatever that that someone submits, there's, there's lots of ways to get involved. There's training, you know, all that stuff is considered contribution in the open source community. 